Deep Dive or the seminar the, is really three parts. Now, you're, the audience, the organization will never see it divided into three parts, but for the sake of explaining, explaining it, it's best to, to describe it in three different parts. The first part is me talking to them. And this is important because they need to get a sense of me, they need to learn my sense of humor, they need to understand kind of what Laflinomics is and how I feel about happiness and why this is related to them and why it's important to them. So that, me talking to them is important. You know, this is where they're gonna get the data, where they're gonna get the science, and where they're gonna get the humor. All right, so that's part one. Uh, the second part is they need to be involved because we know that uh, the way adult learning works is having somebody lecture to them is only one way to learn and it's not always the best way to learn. So that having them involved is not only a good idea, it's, a, it's important. So what does that mean? It means we need to create an experience. So that means we're gonna split them into groups, we're gonna get them out of their silos or their work groups or whatever, and we're gonna put them uh, it, doing projects and activities that are a little bit, just a little bit outside of their comfort zone. So for example, one of the things I do is I uh, have them do improv comedy exercises. This is, this is kind of like the TV show, um, Whose Line Is It Anyway, where actors make up sketches as they go. We're going to get your people doing very simplified versions of that. And we're never going to call it, by the way, we're never going to tell them, hey, you're going to do an improv comedy thing, because <laughs> they won't want to do it. But we've developed a process and a program where we start in very slow steps, very specific uh, steps to get them relaxed, and then they're suddenly they're doing the next exercises, which is a little bit more complicated, and then the next one, which is a little bit more risky. And by the end of this series of exercises, they're having a great time. You will see the energy in the room go up. You'll hear the volume in the room go up. And what is really cool is when you talk to your people, you will hear things like, I never would have believed I could have done that or would be willing to do that with that group of people. But it was fun. So that's the second part. We're going to have them do exercises like that. There's a really cool thing I've been doing with balloons. We got a ton of ideas. But the main thing is let's get them in groups experiencing uh, working as a team and experiencing uh, working in a way that is very safe and very fun. But that's only the second part. The payoff, the golden ring, what we're really going after is that third section. And the third section is the conversation that we have about those experiences. So that means we're gonna say, well, all these exercises, all these experiences were great, they were fun, you loved them, but what in the world does this have to do with you? What does it have to do with your job? What does it have to do with the goals you and your organization share? And then I shut up. This is, the, this is really the coolest part. We're asking them, what do you think this has to do with you or leadership or change or management or innovation or collaboration? And I'm, I'm never, uh, I never fail to be surprised how awesome those groups are able to uh, articulate what happened. So for example, uh, they'll, they'll say things like, oh, this is about listening. And that's why this is so important when we're selling, we gotta listen. Or they might say, uh, oh, this is all about being flexible. Because so often in our jobs, we think we're going one way and we realize we need to go a different way. And you, we've just, through this experience, learned that. They've come up with these crazy ideas. Why is this so important? This, because this is how people learn. Um, th there's a really old saying that the best learner in the room is the teacher. And that means if we can get them to sort of discover these truths on their own and teach each other some of their best practices and some of their aha moments, amazing things happen. Uh, they believe their own data better than any data you and I can share with them, um, which is powerful. Uh, this makes the message very, very sticky and it makes the, these experiences really meaningful because they're experiencing things they've never done before in a really safe, playful, fun way that they're almost assuredly not used to doing. But best of all, there's wisdom that they're gonna take with them. Because at the end of the day, if we don't give them some portability to these ideas, if we don't give them a way to take what they've learned in these experiences back with them to their, to their lives generally and specifically to their teams at work, then, then it's a fail, right? So at the end, that conversation where they come up with the ideas is the most powerful part. So it's three different steps. It's me talking to them, 
It's putting them into uh, situations where they're able to create experiences that are significant. And that most important part is that, that deep dive where we allow them to talk and talk about what this means and why this is relevant. So three different parts, they're all blended in. Their, your audience is never going to see or just realize, oh, well, he had three specific steps. No, they'll see it as one blended experience that'll be a, a lot of fun. They're going to leave with way more energy than they came with. They're going to leave with action steps and a to-do list that will blow you away. And they're going to have an attitude that will be infectious in all of the best ways for your organization.